Good morning, you guys. So, yeah, I'm going to try to do some vlogging today. I'm going to try and create some content today. <laughs> I got stuff I need to do. I have a trip that I'm going on in a couple of days. Um, a 10-year anniversary little getaway with hubby. So, I'm going to do that, or I need to pack for that. I, since I just woke up, I, I need to wash my face. I was When I was washing my face last night, I was using my e.l.f. daily cleanser. Love that stuff. But I was like, I want to try some different cleansers. And I have like a whole little, you know, container full of different face cleansers. And I was kind of looking at them this morning. And I was like, I want to try every single one of these face cleansers and see which ones I really like and which ones I don't to help me, you know, declutter and get rid of some stuff. So, uh, that is my plan, I guess, over the next, well, when I come back from this little trip is just to go through those cleansers and kind of weed out the ones I don't like. But yeah, I need to get it together, wash my face, brush my teeth, you know, do some skincare. I'm hungry. What do I want to eat this morning? I'm gonna try and eat something healthy this morning. <laughs> I'm gonna try. Uh, fix me something at least mostly healthy this morning for breakfast. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. And then I have a few other things to do. I need to wash my brushes. Have y'all been washing your brushes? Okay, since I haven't been really doing, I just started back doing makeup or trying to do it more regularly. I'm like, dang. I gotta wash my brushes again. So I'm wash my brushes and my sponges and stuff. But yeah, I have a few things I need to do. So maybe you guys wanna pack with me, clean my brushes with me. <laughs> um, I also wanted to share with you guys, I was kinda going through different scents, you know, my perfumes and stuff. And I was like, you know what? Maybe I should share like some of my favorite fragrances. So. I think that is what I will do as well. But yeah, let me kind of show you guys before I do my skincare, I'll show you guys what um, face washes and stuff I'm talking about that I have kind of pulled out. So yeah, let's just go in there. So yeah, I was digging through my cubby this morning because um, like I said, I have like different uh, face washes and stuff that I wanted to try but these are just some of the ones that I don't believe I've tried yet this glam glow I know for sure I haven't it's a tropical cleanse daily exfoliating cleanser this fresh soy face wash I feel like I've tried this before but and I didn't really care for it but since I'm not sure I'm gonna try it again I also have this glam glow gentle bubble this one is a daily conditioning toning cleanser. So uh, I might like that. This core is here. I think this is like a yogurt, some type of Greek yogurt cleanser. I have this. Uh, this is part of a set, actually. This Skinthesis. Yeah, it's probably it was part of like a set, but this is the cleanser out of the set. And then I have this Paris Hilton cleanser, which I'm pretty sure I got most of these actually probably all of these i got in like subscription boxes and stuff but you know it's like i only have one face that's like a big reason as far as why i stopped just you know getting five million subscription boxes it's like i only got one face and since i haven't really done giveaways and stuff in a while i used to do a lot of giveaways so that kind of helped me to tone my stuff down was you know doing a lot of giveaways or whatever but yeah so i'm gonna take these and actually put these in my closet bathroom so that i can use them or at least you know turn you guys around <laughs> good morning but at least i can use them um remember to try them out different ones or whatever this bathroom is not that big so i just kind of have stuff everywhere i have my brushes over here that i need to clean um but yeah so i think i'm gonna go ahead just wash my face really quick 
you know, do a serum and a moisturizer and go fix my coffee and breakfast and then get my day started. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I almost forgot, you guys, I've been loving my little new skincare fridge. It keeps my stuff nice and cool and oh my gosh, especially like my eye cream. Oh my goodness, it feels so freaking amazing. <laughs> so amazing. So yeah, I actually love it. Love how this stuff feels. I actually put like my Laneige, what are these lip balms? I'm sorry, I don't have a light on in here right now. But these Laneige lip balms I put in here. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah. I put these in there because I was like, I bet those will feel amazing going on my lips cold, but <laughs> we'll see. So anyway, I need to grab my um, moisturizers and stuff for the day out of here. Uh, this is my serum. So I got my eye cream, my serum. Um... And let's see what moisturizer do I want to use today. That's kind of heavy. I think I'll do my Maman, my uh, Rose Water Gel Cream. So I will use that this morning. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead and try this lip balm. See how it feels on my lips cold. <laughs> so, yeah, but I love it. I love, love, love having cold skincare. Shoot. Ciao. I don't know why I didn't do this sooner. I love it. is feeling fresh so let's go downstairs because your girl is starving and I need my coffee <laughs> and my breakfast so I think I'm gonna leave that on because I'll be back in here in just a minute and it's already hot so I got my brushes so take my brushes downstairs I like washing my brushes in the kitchen sink for some reason I don't know why but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and wash my brushes after I have my coffee and stuff. So let's do that. Let's get our coffee and something healthy to eat. And then we can wash our brushes. Y'all know y'all need to wash your brushes with me. Don't act like I'm the only one that needs to wash my brushes because I feel like <laughs> y'all brushes is dirty too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's just how I feel. Y'all brushes is dirty as well. So, yeah, I'm just using my little Keurig. Bring y'all around. So, yeah, I'm just going to use my little Keurig here. I can't do this with one hand and make my coffee. So, hold on. So, this is my little coffee corner over here. I'm just going to do regular donut shop coffee this morning nothing fancy i've been using my splenda just trying to take in a little less sugar for a while and i actually don't mind the way splenda tastes in my drinks i really don't um and then i use a couple of these creamers so let me grab me a cup but what i um really realized or really noticed in my daily routine and things that I do is that when I actually just you know clean up my space as I go which I've always kind of done um it just makes life so much easier like when you finish doing something and then you immediately clean up your space like right after you do it it just makes your life so much more easy and simple and clutter free and I really really like that so yeah 
that's what I try to do. Whether I'm in the bathroom, the kitchen, no matter where I'm at, that's what I try to do. So, yeah. And I realized when I was taking that, you know, the Laneige lip gloss that I used on my lips this morning. Let me come in here while I'm making my coffee, okay. <laughs> but with the Laneige uh, lip gloss, I was thinking it was like a lip balm or whatever, but I think this is a lip gloss. That's what happens when you can't see, okay? Your vision is bad. <laughs> um, It didn't really make no difference putting it in the little refrigerator. So, yeah, but these are really, really nice. I have two of these. I think my girl Lily gave me these a long time ago, and I'm just now using them like them a lot so i'm put one of these in my purse but yeah just thought i'd share that with y'all so coffee's done uh, i might fix me some breakfast after i wash my brushes because Yeah, I just really, really need coffee right now. Now, this um, coffee cup, I don't know if you guys can see it. My angle is not the best. But this coffee cup, I got these from Amazon. They're so cute. Um, I just fell in love with them. You know, I use them for cold drinks, hot drinks, whatever. But it was a little different, little square type situation with a handle. So, I was like, you know what? I like different stuff. Let me go ahead and get some of those. So, yeah, I got a bunch of them. Some with handles and some without, so I like both. But the ones with the handles are really nice for coffee. So some of the things that I didn't really think about with moving to a different state, because I've never lived in a different state before, only California. So, you know, you're like, okay, you got to move, you know, move your stuff, your belongings, your body, all that good stuff. But it's like other stuff that has to be done and taken care of that I didn't really think about, you know, like vehicle registrations, you know, getting a whole new driver's license ID or whatever in that state. And so... I have really had to do like a lot of paperwork because that's what I do here in this household, in this family is I handle, you know, all business, family business <laughs> and stuff like that. So yeah, just, and it's like out here just to like register your vehicle and stuff. It's a lot that you got to do. Switch over your insurance to the state you live in. Um, you know, get your smog certification. Um, if you have personalized plates like I do, you know, then you have to, you know, apply to get those plates out in the state, the new state that you're living in and all that stuff is a lot. So <laughs> that's what I have been basically, you know, working on and taking care of is just like all the logistics of living in a new state. So, I mean, I'm learning a lot though, you know, and I'm really excited to kind of, you know, get more information and find out different things about living here in Nevada. So yeah, that's what I'm also working on is getting that taken care of before our appointment. So yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm on my computer right now. I don't know if you guys can see, but yeah. I'm at my kitchen counter and I keep my you know computer or whatever right here for the most part, unless I'm in my beauty space editing. But I like sitting at the counter and having my coffee and working or doing whatever it is I need to do for the day. So yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. Just finishing up all this paperwork, which I have sprawled out over here, making sure I have everything together. Cause honey, I am not going to be going back and forth to the DMV. No man, Pam. So that's what I'm doing. After I finish this, then I will fix me something to eat and 
wash my brushes. Am I stalling, y'all? Am I like stalling? Because I don't feel like what I really don't feel like washing my brushes. But gotta do it. So yeah, I'm finish my coffee and then we'll have breakfast. If I come up and I fall off, that's on me. That's on me. If I come up and I fall off, that's on me. That's on me. If I come up and I fall off, that's on me. If I fall, not sell out, that's we. That's why I take my time. Before I make my mind. Up. And I do this like seven days out of the week. And I grind so hard, I don't get much sleep. I had to earn my stripes. So I don't have to work no nine five. Yeah, we be taking everything for granted, no lie. Cause I remember days that we could barely get by. Used to use the negativity to get high. But now the comments we reading can ruin our lives. Why? It used to be easy back on Easy Street. Hollywood ain't that good, it's going down like it's on a needed beat. Even though now it's lobster, all on top of my pasta. I can still feel locked up, like the head of a roster. They'll take your soul from right up under your nose And make you feel like you did it just to obtain your goals Oh yeah, it's good when you get it, but it don't last that long Cause I promise you can't take it with you when you gone That's why I come up and I fall off, that's, that's on, on me, me. That's on me. If I fall, and I sell out, that's weak. I know that's, that's weak. why I take my time. I take my time before I make my mind. Up. I make my mind up. And I do this like seven, seven days out of the week. I and I grind so hard, I don't get much sleep. I had to earn my stripes. So I don't have to work no nine to five. Yeah, we can learn from other people's failures sometimes. I used to make believe and tell a plethora of lies. Oh, yeah. Now I see how actions take effect on my life. Cause I don't even have a portrait of this family of mine. Man. I used to be speeding back on Easy Street. Hollywood ain't that good, it's going down like it's on a needed beat. Even though I got options, every tree in this garden. I can still feel lost cause every day I wonder. Yeah. Will they take my soul from right up under my nose and make me feel like I did it just to obtain my goals? I mean, it's good when you get it, but it don't last that long Cause I promise you can't take it with you when you gone That's why If I come up and I fall off, that's, that's on me, me. That's on me. If I fall and I sell out, that's we. That's, that's why I take my time, take my time Before I make my mind I make my mind And I do this like seven, seven days out of the week and I grind so hard, I don't get much sleep. I had to earn my stripes, so I don't have to work no nine to five. All right, you guys, clean brushes on deck. Got all my brushes nice and clean. Sponges, it's nothing like a nice, clean, fluffy sponge. So. Sponges are clean. I had a few brushes that are stubborn. You know, sometimes blues and greens and purples do not want to release. So, yeah, got a couple of stained brushes there. No big deal, though. So, but yeah, go ahead and let those dry, okay? And take me a little peace break right now, okay? It's looking really, really beautiful outside. Oh, you guys can't see because of the light, but... It's looking like a beautiful day outside. I know it is like <laughs> probably 100 degrees right now, but yeah, it's looking beautiful. So let me go out here and just see just how hot it is. Oh, yep, it is hot. It is hot. I would love to just come out here and chill or even get in the pool, really, but it's pretty hot. Actually, right now, I could probably get in the pool comfortably because it is not, it's not uh, super duper hot. Oh, and the water is like, oh, perfect. Dang, I should get in the pool. Yeah, maybe I'm gonna get in the pool, you guys. So you guys, I wanted to just kind of share with you guys some of my favorite perfume scents. These are pretty much all my perfumes. Um, I keep my body sprays in my um, bathroom and my bedroom. But as far as perfume goes, I have them all here in my closet. I had these um, pull-out shelves 
put in like specifically for my perfumes and I love them because it makes it easy for me to you know come back here reach them pull different ones out um these are all my dossiers which I really want to make labels for these because I could not tell you which scents these are all duping you know just by smelling them or knowing the name so I want to put labels on all of these for what perfumes they're duping so one day I'll do that but <clears throat> yeah those are my dossiers I have some alt fragrances up here I just have you know a variation of other fragrances I don't really have them kind of like organized or anything like that some of them by brand I have some Zara's down there as you can see KVDs different ones you know Rihanna but yeah so I have these shelves these two shelves with the mirror in the back so it looks really really pretty I'm kind of aiming the camera up <laughs> but and trying not to break anything but as you can see they pull out you know of the shelving system so they pull out and they go in it's really really nice and I can easily access my different perfumes um I honestly I love perfumes because you know of course they smell good but the bottles the packaging is just like so freaking pretty so quite frankly I feel like I have way too many perfumes because I'm not able to really get familiar with all the different scents and I'm not great at describing different scents that's why you know I've never done like a perfume uh, video or anything like that but what I do want to do is just kind of share with you guys some of my top picks these are like the scents that I know if I grab it I'm gonna love it so yeah let me just run through them I'm not gonna be giving notes and all that kind of stuff because like I said I'm terrible at descriptions and stuff so I just wanted to let you guys know which ones I really, really love. If you want to smell them, try them out for yourself. Or let me know if you guys like the same scents. So let me just run through these right quick. Okay, so this first little one here is my Guess 1981. I wore this the other night when I went out. Very, very nice, feminine, light airy fresh scent I do know that about this one I really like this I haven't had this one in my collection that long but as you can see I'm already making a nice little dent in it because it's just perfect for like every day to grab and spritz so I love this one I also really really like this Zara clear honeysuckle I just added this to my collection as well and um, some of it actually was wasted I didn't use that much um it got kind of messed up in my suitcase when I was traveling with it but oh my gosh this smells so freaking good you guys oh it smells so good if you like those light airy feminine scents then you'll really like this as well very very beautiful scent uh, one of my old time favorites, Juliet has a gun, not a perfume. I hate the packaging because what is this? <laughs> but this stuff smells really good. Another really nice everyday scent. Um, so check this one out. This one here, this is one of the Lancome. Gosh, I always forget the names of these. My girl Lily sent me these. She sent me like three different scents of these Lancome perfumes. You know, the bottle is very distinctive, so you can easily find this and know what it is. I'm sorry, I don't know the name of it, but it is one of the Lancome scents. Oh my gosh, this one, <laughs> as you can see, even though it's a smaller bottle, man, I tore this stuff up. I took it with me um, when I traveled. It's perfect size for traveling, and this stuff smells so good. Really, really sexy really beautiful scent so i love that as well taka taka is one of my absolute favorites if you know you know um obviously you can see i'm almost more than halfway done with this this scent very sexy very grown and sexy i don't even know how to describe this look up the notes you guys but yeah this is a very grown sexy scent and I love it. One of my favorites, as you can see. 
Next, I have Valentino. This was actually another gift. Um, I think it was my Christmas gift from my girl, Lily. Instantly became one of my favorites. It smells so beautiful. Um, every time I'm not sure what I want to put on, I know if I grab this Valentino, it's going to be the right choice because this is just an amazing, beautiful, sexy, feminine scent. And the packaging is gorgeous. As you can see, it looks very, very, you know, yes, I'm bourgeoisie. <laughs> I love it. The nice studded packaging. But yeah, definitely one of my favorites. Next, I have here my Gucci Guilty. Um, this was one of my favorites from back in the day. So, yeah, I had a really, really old one. Used it up completely. As you can see, I'm still working my way through this one. Love this packaging, okay? You just... <laughs> It's like it doesn't get too much better than this for packaging. Very um, sophisticated. I really like this. Nice and sophisticated, grown and sexy. So another one of my favorites. This one I know is very controversial. Rihanna's Fenty Beauty scent. The second I smelled it, I fell in love with it. It smelled like everything that I ever wanted to smell like. If you want to smell rich and you want to smell bougie and you want to smell like you don't give a damn what nobody else <laughs> has to say about it you need this okay i know this is very very different than most perfumes most scents it's very unique um it really you really just have to read the notes to know what this smells like because when you put it on you know unless you're really good at that which i'm not you're just gonna be like what is this <laughs> Like, so I understand why people don't like it. I understand why people, you know, might be a little confused by it. But honey, I love this. And when I put it on, my husband loved it as well. He was like, oh yeah, that's the one. So yeah, I love my Fenty perfume. I also love this Chloe. Whenever I want to spray on something that's nice and dainty, very girly you know as you can see the packaging itself is very girly as well cute little pink bow on there but yeah whenever i want to just really feel girly and cutesy this is what i grab because it just says sundress you know just out in a breeze looking cute that's what this says to me so i really love that as well this one here from zara when i did my first um perfume haul from zara this one instantly became my favorite this memoir intense it just i love the way it smells it's a really nice perfume to have in your collection um if you're not really sure kind of what type of scent you like and things like that but you know you just like to smell good try this one out the memoir intense because i feel like it can be used every day it's also a nice date night scent you know going out with your girls it's it's a well-rounded perfume i believe so yeah the memoir intense definitely one of my favorites from zara and lastly this one here honestly is one of my most complimented scents if i want to get compliments just know that i'm going to get compliments is this one this one is the michael kors um sexy amber and this stuff <laughs> i don't know what it is i don't know what it is honey but the men love it they love this sexy amber scent you want to get compliments, you want to get hit on, you want to get, which of course I don't, you know, I, I just wear it and it just happens. Um, you know, happily married woman, <laughs> but my husband loves it as well. But this Michael Kors Sexy Amber, the packaging is really pretty too, as you can see. But yeah, I'm, I'm making a nice little dent in this because it smells amazing. If you like amber scents, try this out. If you want to get complimented, you want to get hit on, honey get this michael kors <laughs> sexy amber because it smells amazing so yeah i just wanted to share my absolute top um 
fragrances with you guys. Hopefully that kind of helped. If you're looking for something new to check out, check out one of these. Tell me what you think. Give me your thoughts on these scents if you already have them. So yeah, that's it on that. So you guys, I grabbed a couple of these little like, it's a phone holder because I, you know, I filmed with my phone and it has like this little suction on the back. I That's what I have in the bathroom. I have it um, suctioned to the wall or you can suction it to your mirror if you're a content creator, if you care about this stuff or, you know, maybe you just want to film different things with your phone and you need to have it sitting somewhere. But it's just like a little phone holder that has a suction cup attached to it and you can suction it, you know, in your car on your mirror, on your wall or whatever. So this part here, you know, holds the phone, of course. It's the little phone holder thing. And then you, I have this fan blowing everything everywhere. But you just attach it to this. Let me loosen this up. But you attach the phone part onto, you know, the suction cup. So you can, let me tighten it. But you can just attach this to the wall or to the mirror or in your car and, you know, have your phone there so you can film while you're driving, while you're doing your makeup, skincare, whatever the case may be. The reason why I got more of these, because the one in the bathroom works absolutely great. Very small footprint. It doesn't take up a lot of space. I'm able to kind of angle my phone however I need to angle it to film. It's really, really nice. The suction is good. It's sturdy. It hasn't fallen or slipped or moved or anything like that. So since I like this so much, I got a couple more because I want to put one of these on the wall in here when I sit down to do my makeup. Let me turn this so you can see a little bit. I don't know if you, Lord have mercy. But over there, I have a vanity where I like to sit and I can do, you know, my makeup and stuff as well. You see me <laughs> leaning over. But I want to stick one to the wall over there so that I can do, you know, my makeup and stuff without having a big tripod, you know, that I have to have my camera on because it takes up too much space. It's a very, very small desk over there. And I don't have a lot of room for like makeup and all that stuff. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. I got this from Amazon. So I'll link this down in the description box if you're curious and you want to purchase one. But I think it's really, really cool, really handy, small footprint, and you can film from basically anywhere. So I got two more of these because I want to stick one to my mirror as well. So when I do like try on hauls or outfit, you know, videos or whatever for Instagram, I can just have it sticking on my mirror and film myself without having to hold my phone or having a big tripod in my way. So yeah, anyways, I thought these are really cool. I wanted to share them with you guys just in case other content creators are looking for a solution with a smaller footprint. So yeah. So I just want to show you guys what it looks like attached to the wall. You see it's a very, very small footprint, very small. You can put it anywhere. The suction cup sticks and you put this little tab down just to make it stay. Um, my phone, I just have my phone in there actually. That's not the one I film with, but that's my actual phone, um, is pretty heavy. I have the fold and so it's actually heavier than like a regular phone or whatever and so you can see it's holding it just fine um i have a lot of just junk on my desk right now which i'm actually about to move because it's annoying me but you can see here when i sit down to film here <laughs> you can see i'm holding my camera to film or my other phone to film but when i sit down to film you can see you know um i can sit here do my makeup talk to you guys or whatever hey what's happening what's cracking and film and it's like the footprint is so small i don't have this huge tripod this huge whatever in my way and this is you know it's adjustable you can move it rotate it whatever um so yeah it's pretty cool 
But yeah, just wanted to share that with you guys. So yeah, this is my mirror. I love this mirror, by the way. Ordered it on Amazon. It's lighted. Very, very cool. I'll link this down below as well. But yeah, it has a different light settings on here. Um, but it's the perfect mirror for getting dressed and seeing what's happening. So yeah, but as you can see here, I just attached the little holder up there and very, very small footprint once again. And I did take it off just to see if it, you know, damaged my mirror and it didn't. So yeah, anywho, that's what it looks like for the holder and it works perfectly. I just did a quick little eye look. Um, I wanted to play with this Love Epidemic palette from Plain and Makeup by Yolando. The color story of this palette is so pretty and I was like, I just wanna do a quick eye look with it. I didn't wanna do a whole video on it. So I figured I'd just throw it into this vlog. And y'all, the colors are so pretty, beautifully pigmented. The super light um, matte shade right here is not quite white it's like a really really light light pink but it actually looks white you know and so i just popped that in that inner corner and very pigmented as you can see very very pretty i love how it brightens up this eye look and the shimmer over here that i used on my lid just popped it on there kind of gave like that pretty iridescent type look and so because of that I went in with one of my new Nomad lip glosses you know the purple one because I thought okay it would kind of go funky with this eye look so <sighs> I mean playing and makeup by Yolando never disappoints okay the pigmentation is a one okay blend it out beautifully I love it yeah I ain't going nowhere but your girl just wanted to do a quick little beat. So <laughs> yeah, I'll um, talk about this more in the rest of the products that I'm using for my Shop My Stash in my next Shop My Stash video. But I did want to do a quick look with that and I'm loving it. I need to go get my suitcase out of my car because I need to pack. Don't feel like packing. Probably won't pack till tonight, but y'all can go with me to go get my suitcase. I bought a new suitcase from Ross. It's really cute. Y'all, on my last trip, I don't know what in the world they did with my suitcase when they was loading it on the plane, taking it off, sending it through, whatever. They broke the whole top handle off of my suitcase. And I love that pretty, it's like a pretty lavender lilac colored suitcase, real big, you know, just hold all my stuff and they broke the dang old handle off of it. I could still use it because I can maneuver it with the handle that goes up and down, but the regular handle on there, completely gone. And it's annoying because I can't do anything 
you know, like picking up the suitcase and stuff like that. I have to take it from the side and so it's annoying. So got me a new suitcase and then I got hubby a new little, well, big black suitcase for him. But, you know, for me, I had to get something bright and colorful. So I'll show it to you in a minute. I'm gonna go get my suitcase out of my trunk of my car. I don't know if my car is locked, so I need to get my key just in case it's locked. So I'm gonna grab my key. All right, let's go get the suitcase. Why does it look like my thing is dirty? Hold on. Is that better? No. Maybe it's just my contacts. <laughs> Maybe that, okay. But yeah, don't know. So, who's hot in here? Should be unlocked now. So let's get this suitcase. So I got this colorful one for me. Really cute beachy theme. And I got this black one for hubby. So I may as well take both of them inside now. Yeah, I just wanted to show you guys my new suitcase. I know it ain't nothing fancy than any other suitcase. I think I paid, the price tag is already off, but I think I paid like 79 bucks for this. And you see how big it is. Like, y'all know I'm not a small woman, okay? So you see how big this freaking suitcase is. And it has cute little beach theme stuff on here. So I'm excited. I ain't packing right now though because I don't feel like it. So we'll pack later. Okay, y'all. I'm going to do a really quick unboxing because I went to my mailbox and I had two packages in there that I was not expecting or I did not know was coming. This one here got a big old dent at the box is actually broken right there so let's say a little prayer thank you jesus amen okay so hopefully it's not completely destroyed whatever is in here but i'm gonna open that up first and then i also have my boxy charm i know i know i know so let's open up this beat up box first it's got to be a palette. That's pretty much <laughs> that's like the only thing that I would order and really just not remember. Especially with, you know, some of the pre-orders and any brands, you know, you order stuff and then it arrives six months later and you forgot that you even ordered it because it was a pre-order. That's probably what this is because it came from, I think, Australia. And I still don't remember what it is. So, Ugh. okay. Getting this thing open is a lot. Okay. Ooh, there's two things in here. Did I get a freebie or something? Let's check it out. Okay, so it's a palette, obviously. Ooh, does it say nocturnal? Nocturnal. Okay, okay. Okay, now I'm vaguely remembering now. Y'all know I have not been, as far as makeup goes, I don't know what's coming out, what came out, what is hot, what's not. I truly do not know right now. I'm so out of the loop when it comes to the makeup and the beauty community and stuff, honey. So out of the loop. So, Glaminatrix. This must be a pretty palette. This must be something I saw and I was like, oh, I gotta have it, okay? Cause that's the only time I really order makeup now is if I see something and it's like, oh my gosh, I have to have it. So let's check this palette out right quick. Ooh, look at the packaging. So pretty, look at that. 
so nice i don't know if you can see that it says glaminatrix cosmetics nocturnal um oh hell no wow and y'all are my witness right now in this video why am i missing one two three four five like all of the freaking shimmers i'm assuming are there shimmers in this palette because what my palette is literally oh that's what it is oh child i was about to go off that has to be what's in here <laughs> it seems like i remember them saying that they were packaging the shimmers separately to you know keep damage down and blah blah Ooh, child i'm listening I'm so glad I remembered that because I would have had to ask the Lord for forgiveness for all the cussing I was about to do. <laughs> I was like, I didn't, I know they did not send me no palette all the way from Australia with five missing shadows. Lord have mercy. So yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what this is. I'm going to have to look at, well, hopefully the names are on the back. Sorry, y'all. They got this stuff wrapped up good, okay? Which I appreciate. I appreciate. See? See, that's why you got to just slow down sometime. Take a minute. Evaluate the situation. Think things through before you just get to cussing people out and just, just haul off, you know, just letting people have it. So, that's what I try to do. I try to live my life that way. <laughs> Because, honey, somebody was about to get cussed out. Honey, because these palettes ain't cheap either, so. Okay, so I'm going to have to look at the picture. Because these shadows, they don't have names on the back. Ooh, that's pretty. But you see there's no name on the back. So I'm going to have to look at the picture to figure out which shimmer goes where. One, two, three three Whew, that was close honey i was like what in the franks and beans is going on here do send me a half empty palette i think not okay so i'll show you guys all the shimmers then i'll look at the picture and show you it put together so this is one of them very pretty this is another one very pretty. This one here is gorgeous. Pretty green. I think this is the one I already showed, maybe. Pretty purple. And then there's this one. And they're definitely multi chrome, dual chromes at the very least, but multi chromes, I believe. So let me figure out how these go in this palette, and then I'll show you the whole palette. Okay, y'all. So this is what the palette is supposed to look like. Super, super pretty. Um, of course, my camera is definitely not doing it justice, but this is so pretty. And when I think about how they shipped it and the way they did it, genius, absolute genius, because don't nobody be wanting to receive a bunch of broken shimmers and stuff like that and having to replace them and wait for them to come. And I mean, especially taking so long to come, brilliant, so. <laughs> I'm so glad they did that. Thank you so much for thinking about our beautiful makeups, Glamour Natures, because that stuff ain't cheap. I'm pretty sure I paid a pretty penny for that palette, honey. So, okay. Anyway, let me go ahead and open up my boxy charm right quick. Okay, you guys. So, let's go through this boxy right quick. So, it says boxy charm, dust till dawn. That's what the little card looks like. That's cute. Okay, so let's run through this stuff right quick. So this first thing here, Alpha H, Balancing Cleanser with Aloe Vera, okay? That's what it looks like, okay? Is this a face cleanser or a body cleanser? Because y'all know I just pulled out six face cleansers to try so I can run through those. Now I got another big giant cleanser here. A gentle creamy lotion which removes all traces of face and eye makeup while balancing the skin. Non-greasy cleanser, three-in-one action, gently cleanses without drying. Uh, vitamin E and aloe vera combined to provide ongoing hydration throughout the day. So this sounds really good though. 
All right, let's see what it says. Alpha H. Um, this retails for $36. Okay. Ooh. All right, another cleanser. Okay, so what do we have here? Tres Luce, Tres Luce Beauty Forever Brilliant Metallic Liquid Eyeshadow. I don't like liquid eyeshadows. <laughs> so this will definitely go in a giveaway. Let's see what it looks like, though. I mean, I don't know. I just, I have a lot of like liquid or like cream eyeshadows and stuff that are really pretty that I don't use. So, and this looks like a really pretty kind of, you know, I don't know, translucent type shade. This might look really pretty on the inner corner, but I definitely don't need this. Um, let's see what it says here. How much was this? Trace Luce Beauty Forever Brilliant Metallic Liquid Shadow retails for $16. Okay. I mean, hmm, we'll see. We'll see. That, that, that might end up being given away because although I'm tempted to try it out, pop it in my inner corner, it's like, I already have stuff like that that I can use, so I'd rather give it away. So this one, let's see here, Essential Radiance Nutrient C Eye Cream. Now, I used to always give my eye creams away all the time. Give them to my daughter, give them away because I really didn't use eye creams. I felt like they didn't do anything for me. But now I'm really getting back into it, really trying to see if it will help or whatever, child, because these dark circles and puffiness and wrinkles, uh -huh. I got to try to do something. So let's see what it says. Essential Radiance. Cat Berkey. That's the brand. Cat Berkey. I thought it was Essential Radiance, but the actual brand name is Cat Berkey. And it says here, this retails for $90. $90. Shoot. Okay. I'm definitely going to try this out. So that's what it looks like. Put this in my little <laughs> skincare fridge. Of course, I'm not even putting it back in the box. Um, so yeah, I, mean, I better do something for $90. Okay, what is this? This is a palette, signature palette symphony from Ofra. <laughs> I'm not expecting this to be too vibrant. Let's check it out, okay. Funny enough, I haven't seen this or anything, haven't heard of it, so I don't know how new or how old it is. Cute little white Ofra packaging. One of these kind of basic burgundy palette. Um, nothing super grandiose about it. I mean, but it's cute or whatever. So this is probably going to be a giveaway. Ofra retails for $34. Signature palette in Symphony, so... I mean, it's cute, but it kind of reminds me of like some of those small, um, what do you call them? Fenty Beauty Snap Shadow palettes or whatever that I'm, I'm you know, I have one. I think I got in my boxy charm that I need to give away because I'm not using it. But part of me is like, I need to try it out because I might actually really fall in love with it, but it just looks so boring that I don't even want to try it. Okay. Clean AF. That's cute. <laughs> what is this? From Lawless. Forget the filler lip plumping smoothing gloss. I have really, really been falling in love with lip plumping glosses. Even though they don't do nothing for my lips, I like the way they feel. I like that tingle. I like when they smell good, when they taste good. Right now, my favorite is this one that my girl Lily got me from Patrick Ta. This is my absolute favorite. It is so bomb okay so bomb i love this stuff as a matter of fact i need to order some more this patrick tall lip gloss it's a plumping lip gloss but like i said my lips they don't get plump honey they they gonna stay this way but i love the way it feels so this one says clean makeup that doesn't f around why they gotta be vulgar like serious lawless it ain't that serious let me see what this look like because this I'm definitely going to keep. Unless it just looks crazy. And it says it retails for $25. Oh, it's cute. Got like a little frosted glass situation going on. Lawless Beauty, $25. Yeah, I have to try this out and see if I would pay $25 for it. I know that. Oh, okay. 
I know that Patrick Tall one um, is pretty pricey. So that's what that's looking like. You know, just a regular gloss. But it looks pretty shiny. Pretty promising. You know, let me just try this on. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Feels good. Yeah. Feels nice. Wipe my lipstick off of there. Hmm. I don't really feel that instant tingle like I do with the Patrick Ta. But anyway, feels like a nice lip gloss. So keeping that. And lastly, and I did say that that retails for $25, right? So lastly, oh, please don't be a hair product. Please don't be a hair product. Please don't be a hair product. I hate getting hair products because I like to choose my own hair products. I don't like to receive them in my box. <sighs> Playa Manoy Milk Leave-In Conditioner. Soothes, frizz, and softens strands. Coconut milk. And Manoy oil. It's really pretty. But you know, hair care is very specific. It's very personal, especially for black women. Like you can't just send us anything and expect it to work, okay? Or be for us. So especially a leave-in conditioner. Ciao. So I'll find somebody to get this to. So I'm gonna give away this leave-in conditioner. I'm gonna give away this palette. I'm probably gonna give away this Trace Luche uh liquid eyeshadow. Everything else I'll keep. So I will keep the face wash, the eye cream, and the lip gloss. So it looks like I got half products that are, you know, good to me that I'm going to try out. So the box is worth it because the eye cream alone is $90. So you figure that's $90. The uh, plumping lip gloss is $25. So that's what, $115 right there. And then the cleanser is $36. So yeah, that's like $150, $151 worth of product. And I don't remember how much I paid for the box. Probably like $30 or something. So it's worth it. So yeah, not disappointed. Like the stuff that I'm keeping. I guess we'll stay subscribed. So anyway, I just wanted to open that with you guys. Okay, you guys. So I decided I'm not in the mood to pack right now. So um, I'm probably going to include that in my next vlog because I'll just add that to my actual trip vlog. But I did want to try and figure out what palettes I want to take with me um with you guys now i like to have options when i travel i like to have a lot of colorful options as well as if i just want to do something kind of neutral and smoky and so these are the three palettes i decided to choose from this one over here is my rude cosmetics um what is it the roaring 20s reckless yeah very very nice palette beautiful colors in here only thing I don't like about this palette is there's no black, so it really limits my smoky options, you know, for eye looks. But the shimmers are gorgeous, beautiful colors, and it's a more affordable palette, so if something did happen to it, I wouldn't really freak out, even though I really do like this palette. Now, this one here, this playing in Makeup by Yolando, um, this is the Rebirth palette, Jamrock Rebirth beautiful beautiful colors in here this used to be my absolute favorite palette <laughs> um you know before she came out with so many other palettes and so many other brands came out with beautiful color stories but this is still one of my absolute favorite palettes um i'm not sure this one doesn't have a black but this shade here is definitely dark enough for me to smoke out any eye look that i want to do beautiful shimmers in here it definitely gives me plenty of options with eye looks um so that's a good option i would be kind of devastated if it got destroyed i need to look and see if she still sells that quite honestly because i would hate it if i you know ended up damaging that palette and then lastly i have here my be perfect dream big palette absolutely love this color story very earthy smoky pops of color in there 
beautiful, beautiful shimmers as you can see throughout the palette. So definitely a lot of options here. There is a black in there. I really only need <laughs> like one of these two palettes you know i could take this one if i want additional options but i'm gonna have to choose between one of these two palettes i'm not sure i might end up taking both but these are kind of like the types of palettes that i like to travel with so let me know down in the comments i know i'll already be gone and have already chosen but i'm curious to know what kind of palettes you guys travel with if you would take any of these palettes I only plan on dressing up on the, you know, the ship once. <laughs> this is definitely going to be a really chill vacation. So I'm only going to dress up once, honey. So yeah, it's not that stressful of a deal. But yeah, I might end up taking both of these. Y'all know. <laughs> Just for options. So anyways, yeah, I think I'm going to go take a bubble bath and relax. And I will see y'all on the next vlog, okay? Thanks for hanging out with me today. Mm -hmm.